What's the most uh, frustrating part of tonight's game or just processing? Uh, what's the most frustrating part to you? Most frustrating, frustrating part to me um, from tonight's game would probably be that first quarter. Um, just like the simple fact that I think it was a 32 to nine when coach hit called that timeout, it was 32 to nine. And I think it was down 23. Like I told you um, yesterday and earlier today, is that thing where you're fighting uphill the entire game. You finally get there and you're gassed. Like, well, I think we got it as much as one. And well, we took the lead by three points and we didn't have nothing else to give because we, at the end of the day, we we fought back from down 23. And also we we didn't stick with the principles. Like I said earlier, um, he got, got hot, went, uh, went almost six for six um, in the first quarter. Like that's where the lead went and it was getting transitioned, getting dunks. And um, when it's like that, it's kind of hard to hard to win those games, especially just coming back. You don't have any, anything else to give. Earlier in the season, Colin, I remember you telling us that there was um, a frustration amongst the group knowing that you can do better. You're seeing even in the second, third, fourth quarter that you can be better and do better. Um, what has the conversation been like for you guys um, after this game? I'm just going back to those previous days where adversity hit as well and you guys That sticks out to us the most just because coming off Chicago, we knew what we what we felt with and we knew what we needed to do. And tonight we didn't go out there um and do it. Yeah, we, we talked a good game, um, uh, but at the end of the day, I'm talking as long as you, if you don't back it up and it, it don't mean anything. And tonight is is what what happened. Chris. Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. Hey Colin. What's up, what's up? Why don't you think you're backing it up? Um, it's not no why don't we because we, we don't know at the end of the day. If we knew and we knew we just had to do this one little thing, we'll go go fix it. Uh, it's it's kind of hard to to ask like, oh, what is it? It's a lot. It's a lot of things. It's multiple things. It's not just one that that is um, that sticks out to us. So you were mentioning the first quarter, um, and you were talking about how. You guys were coming off the Chicago loss and you were motivated and the opportunity was again in front of you guys tonight. So then how do you explain the first quarter? Um, no, I, I explained it as just being, um, getting out competed. Um, they out competed us tonight and um, I would say we were soft from the jump. We were soft and not um, letting our presence be known. That's how he got those six threes. Like, at the end of the day, um, it's not on one person. It's on all of us to rotate and help each other, as well as help um, Jay on the boards and help him rebound. Because Stewart, he, he, he's good down there. Uh, and he can always rebound really good. And um, even the tap outs, like even though you might play 24 seconds in this tap out, it's just like, that takes a lot of energy. It takes a win out of you as well. Thank you. You're welcome. Kelsey. Also, so the athletic, um, Colin, what was that conversation like um, in that first time out in that first quarter? Um, I guess, like, what did JB say to you guys? What did you say to each other? Um, and just kind of recognizing what was happening. Um, JB, he didn't say anything to us. We were the ones that led that time out. Um, we pretty much came out and talked about it. And um, he did come and say, like, all right, play, like, all right, now let's 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 pick it up, and um, it it came to, from us. At the end of the day, we all brought it together, and we all just stood up, and we just talked. Like, all right, now it's a pride thing. Are we gonna are we gonna back down, or are we gonna stand up for and and fight back? And um, tonight, I felt like we did, but um, it was it was just too much. You know what I mean? Like down the stretch, uh, even like the offense rebound at the free throw line, we ran through the elbows and. The little thing, like it pops back, like ah, those are the ones that you wish you could have back. And then, you know, as a as a young growing team, being in these moments, um, you know, meaningful games and everything, it how frustrating is it to know that like 
this is necessary, but like it's still obviously difficult when they don't go your way, you know, you lose the games, but it's like at the end of the day, there is still learning there, if that makes sense. Yeah, um, yeah. I understand all these games are a learning lesson and uh, we can learn so many lessons from them as far as the first quarter, as far as um, even on offense, maybe you should have kicked one more, maybe you should have threw a lob here and there. It's a lot of learning lessons, but at the end of the day, um, um, we're here for a reason. I mean, we can't just continue to learn. We're trying to win games for um, a chance to be able to play in, and play in the playoffs. Like at the end of the day, we have to just um, learn on the fly. If you want to say that, we got to learn on the fly and can't learn after the game. We got to learn during the game and improve right then, and right there. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> we'll go two more, Ashley. Then back to Chris for one more. Ashley, go ahead. Ashley Bastock, Akron Beacon Journal. Colin, you and JB both talked about, you know, the importance to execute as opposed to just talk about these things. And you also both mentioned how difficult that is to do in this league a lot of the time. So I guess just how confident are you that you guys can find those answers and then actually, you know, make that execution happen? Um, I'm, I'm very confident um, in our team and confident in each and every one of us, coaching staff, because – at the end of the day, we've been here before, and we understand what it takes to to get out this hole that we're in. But at the end of the day, we can't do it alone. We have to do it together. We can't just it can't be one hero play. It's gonna have to be um, one play at a time, one possession at a time, one second at a time. And, um, tonight, that's what we did to, when we fought back into the game, um, but it was too late. Chris, last one. Yeah, Colin, after the win against Charlotte, there was a vibe around the team that your best basketball was ahead of you guys and you were full strength again and you were ready to make this push in the final month. And since then, you've lost three games in a row. What's your biggest takeaway from these last three losses? Um, the last three losses have been ones that we wish we had back. Um, think about the last three losses, they've all been important. They've all been games that we really need. Um, when it's time to win those games, we have to make sure we we show up, number one. And um, number two, we gotta if we show up, we gotta compete. You can't just show up and think you're gonna win. So we gotta show up and compete as well. And um the last three games I didn't feel like we competed, especially tonight in that first quarter. Yeah, we competed in second, third, fourth, but um at the end of the day, it's the NBA. Teams aren't just going to just lay down if you're 